So, Pastor James Perkins, pastor of Victory Tabernacle Church here in Raleigh, North Carolina. My aunt, she uh, she was the my music, um, my great musician in my family, still is a wonderful singer. She actually was uh, the youth camp's uh, first church of God, uh, or the church of God for the state of North Carolina's youth camp director for many years. And she led the choir even when she wasn't, she was the choir director. So, so she's, she, a member of Victory Chapel and for like the past decade. She left First Church like a few decades, a couple decades ago. Finally found a church at the Victory Chapel so she's been a member there for now. They have a wonderful like Pentecostal church and, and I mean Victory Chapel is a great place to go. And yeah, we're, I actually did a session with Mike, the organist there. His first name is Mike. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen my latest, one of my latest Facebook pages, but I'm transferring to Judaism, so uh, I'm studying Hebrew and um, to, to, to Torah and it's not. Um, so you can feel free to check that out. Community, compassion, uh, Israel, the, the world. A couple key words. Yeah, um, Lillian, she's the choir, the women's choir director there on second Sundays. She directs the choir. She sings other Sundays in the public choir. So there's my other aunt that goes there with my aunt Nicole. There's two baby girls of the family. My dad's the baby boy. There's 10 of them. There still is 10 of them. My grandmother, that, my paternal grandmother died when I was 13 and my Again, I, my maternal grandmother died a few years ago in 2016. So I was 32 then, 35 now. I'm sorry, I'm talking really fast because I'm a little bit nervous about it. I mean, I'm reaching out to the entire world, the whole population, you know, and it's a little bit nervous. And I know, you know, I haven't lived in New York and have spoken several languages by nature. Um, I know that there's vari variations in languages and meanings and word lettering and what's right in one community and what's not right in the other and stuff like that. So the conversation is ever growing and never ending. <laughs> The system of thought and understanding this again. I'm going walking grace and grace. Grace, 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 grace.
pull my stuff out the way and let Jesus have the glory. And I do remember how that goes. I did grow up in the Christian church.
Well, I'm going, I thought I would get it all in one sitting, but I don't know that I'll be able to do that. Maybe like 10 more minutes and then I'll come back and um, get the rest. But hopefully you'll have it soon. Hopefully you'll have it soon. Hopefully you'll have it soon. Oh, that's me. I'm... Oh, it's not. That's.
Compression gaskets. Hmm. Window installation. Glass installation. Yeah, check out my website and know what I'm up to. Yeah, let me back up out of the way.
I guess we'll get the iron pools. That's in Atlanta. James yet. I must have not recorded the time. There was a message. I think these are like the elders and praise leaders. I don't think I got past the purpose. No, but. Because my Uncle Marvin, actually, he's one of the elders there, my Aunt Lillian's husband that I mentioned. He's one of the elders there.